Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix the failed network error in Google Chrome. When you're downloading a file, you'll get the failed network error, as you can see here. When you try to resume it, it just goes straight back to failed network error. And I'll show you how to fix this. It's pretty straightforward. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now, this is for Google Chrome, but you could use this for other browsers as well. So just bear that in mind. You may be able to use this method on, say, Edge or Firefox or any other type of browser. So, okay, let's first off go to the three dots and try incognito mode. Now, by going into incognito mode and downloading your file, sometimes this does resolve the issue and it allows you to then download the file. So I'm going to go in here and start to download uh, these files and see whether we can get them downloaded using incognito mode. Once you've tried that, you can also try this method, which is going into the search box and type in CMD and run as administrator the command prompt and then type in here ipconfig or one word forward slash flush DNS, just like this, and push enter. And then try to download the files again and see whether this resolves your issue and whether you'll be able to download those files. You can see here the files are now starting to download. And sometimes it's as simple as just using incognito mode or flushing your DNS. And these two things can sort of resolve this problem. As you'll see here, these files did manage to download. Now, if you're still having issues downloading files and you're still getting that error message, then I'll show you a couple of other things you can try to resolve the issue. So let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, thing that you can try here to try and resolve it if these two didn't work for you. OK, so let's move on to the next one. So now open up your browser. Now I am using Edge here, but I should be showing you in Google Chrome, but I don't want to clear all of my uh, temporary files inside Google Chrome because I have to sign back in. So I'm showing you here in uh, Microsoft Edge, but you need to go to your privacy and security services and just clear out all of your temporary files here all time. Just remove everything and clear it. And this is the best way to try and clear any sort of cache or cookies or anything like that that's stored on that browser. So you'd be doing this inside the browser like Google Chrome to do that. You would just go into your settings and you'll be able to see privacy and security and just remove all of your temporary internet files and things like that, cookies, cache. Next up, we're going to go to settings here. Inside settings, we're going to go down to network and internet. Inside here, choose your internet, whether it be Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to where it says DNS server assignment and we're going to push edit. You can see it's set to automatic DHCP. Go in here, put it on manual and choose the IP version 4. And then inside here, we can now put in our preferred DNS. I'm just going to be putting in here 1.1.1.1. And the alternative DNS, I'm going to be putting in here 1.0. Dot zero dot one and apply this and save it to your settings and then close the browser and open it again and try to download those files again and see whether that allows you to download the files. You can change this back at any time. It's just changing the DNS server, uh, but you can uh, use this DNS server it is sometimes better than the default one that you've got. Next up, we're going to go to reg edit and open up the registry editor. Inside here, we're going to go to HK local machine, go down to software, open this up. And from here, we're going to go to Microsoft, open the tab up here, and then we're going to come all the way down here. And what we're looking for here is Windows, open up Windows, and then go to current version, open this up. And then what we're going to do is come all the way down and just Come all the way down here until you see policies. Open up the policies. And once you've got policies open, go to attachments. And you should see scan with antivirus here. Open this box up and change this free to one and click OK. And hopefully you will then be able to download those files. So let's go ahead and try a few more things here. We're going to go down to the start button and right click on the start button here and go to device manager. Inside here, we want to open this up. And what we're looking for is the network adapters. 
Now inside the network adapters, it's important to see whether there's any issues with your network drivers or whether there's an update for your network driver. So this is the network driver, right click and click on update and search automatically. You can see there is uh, the best driver installed on this system. So there is no yellow exclamation mark on here and there is no issue uh, with this particular driver. So we know the driver is in good working order because we've checked to see the device is working correctly. Next up, what you want to do is make sure that you disable your antivirus program. Sometimes your antivirus program can block certain particular files, especially if they are not a, a zipped up or anything like that, and they're just an open file, maybe an executable file or something along those lines. So just temporarily uh, close your uh, antivirus program. You can do it for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, however long it's going to take for downloading that file. Just make sure that when it's downloaded, you scan that file to make sure there's no viruses in there. And uh, you can re-enable it once you've finished downloading. Next up, open up your browser of your choice. Go to the three dots, go to settings, and then reset and clean. And make sure you reset your browser to default settings. Sometimes there might be a setting inside here that you've tweaked or messed around with and it is messing around with your browser. You can always try another browser to see whether it allows you to download those files, or you can uninstall the browser and reinstall it again. And sometimes that can resolve the issue. Okay, so let's just do another one here. We're gonna go into settings here, and what we're gonna do from settings, we're gonna go network and internet, and we're gonna go down to advanced network settings. And what you can do here is click on network reset. We're gonna reset the network settings you can click on here. I'm not going to do mine, but it will basically reset all of your network settings for your adapter and things like that. And sometimes this does help resolve the issue. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. Hope these uh, solutions help you out and solve your problem. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to Rock and Roll Rebel, Michael Ganner, David Lees, Waleed, PC Repair Tech, Albert Hewson, Edward Kelly, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. I really do appreciate the support, guys. I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.